Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today we're talking how to spot an ENFP based on their facial expressions and body language. Now in this video we will talk about the ENFP's distinct and special eyes, their distinct facial expressions, we'll talk about their hand gestures, and we'll talk about their communication and speech style. So these will give you some really distinct cues that are very unique to the ENFP. Now, before we get started, I'm not going to talk about the nose size of a person, their shape of their eyes. I'm not going to talk about uh, these kind of superficial gestures. I'm just going to talk about distinct ways of looking and smiling and moving the eyes, things that are more connected to a person's cognitive functions, in particular the ENFP's cognitive functions. Now, before we get on to the video, don't forget to press subscribe for more videos like this and like and share this video with other ENFPs so you can all recognize each other a little bit better. First of all, how to spot an ENFP based on body language? What does an ENFP look like? The first things we'll talk about is just the base experiences people tend to have of ENFPs. What do people tend to say about an ENFP based on a first impression? I hear ENFPs described as curious, as independent, as tough, as authentic, as self-expressive. I hear people say that ENFPs come off as authentic and real. I also hear people describe ENFPs as a bit mystical and a bit puzzling and a bit magical. I see people say ENFPs are dreamy and I see people describe ENFPs uh, as almost fiercely independent. Not just independent but almost fiercely independent. They are ENFPs with extroverted thinking. That means they are ENFPs with an attitude, ENFPs with an assertive and serious style and yeah ENFPs are not typically the yokesters of the MTI. ENFPs are the serious high-minded and prideful of the NFs. ENFP body language. ENFPs have a few very distinct expressions. We'll talk about their eyes, we'll talk about their way of smiling, their way of uh, uh, moving their face and their facial muscles, we'll talk about their hand gestures, we'll talk about uh, some uh, distinct things about how ENFPs talk. First of all, let's get into the ENFPs eyes. I hear a lot of people build up almost a cult-like experience about the INFJ's eyes. People are so crazy about the introvert intuitive eyes. They talk about how deep and profound INFJ's eyes appear and they talk about uh, other types as yeah, they have eyes. But with ENFPs, I would say ENFPs have some of the most special and really cool eyes. <laughs> I would say ENFPs have really interesting eyes. The thing you'll most notice about ENFP eyes is that ENFPs have this kind of infinite curiosity. And that's going to be reflected in how ENFPs look at the world. ENFPs have a tendency to kind of tense up the muscles below their eyelids and to raise their eyebrows. And that gives them this eternal state of surprise. It looks like they are always like in awe of the world and of what's happening around them. ENFPs genuinely find and are curious about the world around them. They want to learn. They're eager to figure things out. <laughs> ENFPs, they have detective eyes. That means eyes of a detective, eyes of Sherlock Holmes. They look at the world like it's a mystery to be puzzled out and figured out. And that means when you look at the ENFP, you'll notice that ENFPs dart around with their eyes a lot. Why do ENFPs dart around with their eyes a lot? One thing you could say is ENFPs are charting a course. ENFPs are plotting what next steps they will take. They're always thinking ahead. ENFPs love to think ahead. So they like to analyze, okay, what can I do next? What can I do then? What can I do after that? And what is he going to say back? And often with the ENFP, it's that they're charting a course. They're really just plotting, okay, I'll go there, and then I will go there, and then I will go there. And this is all happening in their head. They're not actually looking at the physical environment per se. ENFPs are looking mentally with their imagination at the world. So they are projecting their own ideas and expectations onto reality. The ENFP is looking at the world like it's something that they are metaphysical almost, something they're trying to figure out, something they're going to puzzle out. And ENFPs have kind of like, they leave kind of like a spider web trail <laughs> with their eyes. And that means when ENFPs look around, it can look like it's random, but there's always a pattern to how they look. And there's always like this kind of sharp, okay, then and there, and then that, and then that. So it's not just random, oh, 
ice wandering. Uh, it's just ice starting in a pattern and then uh, connecting dots. And that's what's happening inside ENFP's mind. As an ENFP, you are connecting dots. You're just going over, okay, there's that possibility and there's that possibility and there's that possibility and there's that possibility. And you're just going over these possibilities and you're weighing them against each other. And you're trying to figure out, okay, what do these things mean? And what do these things form because everything forms a pattern and everything is connected to something and everything gives an ENFP a profound experience. Sometimes we like to think of ENFPs as shallow consumers of experience. The ENFP is purely just observing their world. Uh, they are not reading into or doing anything, but that couldn't be more wrong. ENFPs are deeply analytical types. That means ENFPs are constantly processing all the information they are picking up on. They're always evaluating. And that means they're going over, is this right? Does this feel right to me? Do I vibe with that? And they vibe with the world. So they really just go around and they make connections and then they kind of figure out where do I come in all of this? What is me? What is my purpose? What, who am I in all of this? And the ENFPs have seeker eyes. And that's another term for the ENFPs eyes. They have really seeker quality eyes. That means they are constantly searching for and trying to get meaning from the world. And that brings us on to the ENFPs hand gestures. ENFPs, they have a tendency to gesture with their palms facing towards themselves. So rather than this, ENFPs gesture like that. Why do they do that? Because they are gathering information. ENFPs dominant state is gathering information. ENFPs, they are picking up on possibilities. They are uh, processing, they're kind of uh, uh, with relaxed fluid motions of their hands. They're not distinctly like grabbing the information. They're, they're subtly like pulling and drawing and uh, going over and kind of uh, just thinking about, okay, what does this mean to me? How do I feel about that? How does this experience affect me personally? And that's also gonna come off in how they move their fingers around while they talk. They're not just calculating or pulling strings or trying to figure things out. They're uh, subtly like feeling out. Their, their feelings are, the introverted feeling is in their fingers. That means their finger movements are harmonious, gentle, careful. So that's going to come off in ENFP's hand gestures. When ENFPs are in a state of stress, you're going to notice the opposite. And that's when you're going to notice this. That's when you're going to notice the ENFP commander. ENFPs have a serious but also careful uh, way of engaging with the world around them. They're going like, have we taken care of this? Have we handled this? Have we caught up for this possibility? Uh, when ENFPs are plotting the course and charting the course forward, they're in their best state of mind. They're focused on what they could achieve, what could happen next. When they are in stressful mind, they're worrying about what things they could have missed, what mistakes they could have done, what uh, risks they might have taken or exposed themselves to by putting themselves forward. And that's going to be a bit like trying to uh, kind of uh, uh, control themselves and uh, to guard themselves. They're going to have this kind of way of uh, just managing in sharp and straight on motions with their hands. just. This needs to go there and I need to take care of that and I need to fix this before that blows up, before that goes wrong. <laughs> so it's really like crisis mode uh, style or expression. Finally, let's talk about the ENFP's facial expressions. And the facial expressions, then I talk more about the lower part of the face. ENFPs are dominant intuitives. That means the eyes are the first thing you'll notice. And secondly, you'll think about the smile and their expression and things like that. And that also means that their expressions are going to be less strong you can notice a less activity in this part and more activity here because they are processing first. They're not giving you a judgment immediately. They are first going into processing. They're open-minded first and then they evaluate second. So when you look at an ENFP, you're gonna notice when you look at this part of the face that ENFPs have very honest and authentic expressions. You'll spot this because ENFPs, they have a natural smile that just expands from the lower part of the face outwards. Some types, like for example the ENFJ or the ESFJ, they smile very deliberately and with assertiveness and confidence and dominance. They have a very dominant smile, a very contagious like smile that starts often in the upper lips and then expand outwards. And this looks very deliberate. It looks like they're really trying to influence your mood. They are asserting on you how you should feel. ENFPs, they focus more on their own expression. It's like a it's like a smile that just leaks out, it just comes off naturally, like, oh, like you're having a funny thought. 
and you're just thinking about something or you're just imagining something or uh, remembering something and it just makes you feel like, yeah, good. And it just comes from the inside first and then goes outwards. So ENFPs have like an authentic, natural smile and that's what you're gonna notice about them when they are in a state of flow. ENFPs also have a kind of a playful smile because the ENFP smile, it's uh, not deliberate, it's not uh, uh, necessarily uh, dominant or assertive. ENFPs never try to assert their emotions on other people. ENFPs uh, don't expect other people to laugh when they are laughing or expect other people to smile because they are smiling. ENFPs consider their feelings their own and only their own. And that's often why ENFPs can often look away while they're smiling. They don't really look at other people when they're smiling. They don't really uh, engage with others uh, with their natural face expressions. ENFPs are more demanding facial expression wise when they are in a state of stress. So when ENFPs are gogging and expecting a reaction from you. So ENFPs can then kind of switch on to a bit more tense expressions. You'll notice mainly in their cheek areas that they have very t tense, guarded cheeks and a very guarded way of looking at you. And so what you'll notice is, okay, when the ENFP is demanding attention, and when they're very assertive, they're really looking at you straight on with tense cheeks and they're really like going, what is the answer? What is happening here? What are we going to do about it? So ENFPs have this in serious extroverted thinking quality to them. And, um, when ENFPs uh, go into this mode, you'll notice that their energy also becomes a bit less. Uh, ENFPs can then start to worry more, they can start uh, uh, being a bit more antsy, they can start being a bit more anxious, and they can start being a bit more careful with how they act and what they do. You have some ENFPs that are going to be super bold adventurers, and you're going to have some ENFPs that are a bit more ENFPT-like. And ENFPTs are just a bit different from ENFPAs. So you can't purely look and say, okay, this person is super dominant and super aggressive about ideas and potential, so they must be an ENFP, and that person is not so. So that's not always going to work. You're going to have to look at more distinct qualities and variations, the range of a person. Let's talk about ENFP communication style. And the ENFP communication style, first of all, ENFPs have a very dark voice pattern. When ENFPs talk, they can switch quickly in tone, they can go up and they can do it down. And that's often how the ENFP talks. They uh, start slow, they can jump high, low, they can switch while they're forming a sentence. This can make the speech style seem more random and more disconnected uh, because the ENFP is uh, not showing that they're going in a one clear straight and the direction but it can also demonstrate open-mindedness because the ENFP shows that they are constantly switching and navigating between this and that and then this and then that and they're really just gathering all the possibilities together and then they are putting that out there for other people. You'll also notice that ENFPs have very interactive speech style. ENFPs are constantly gogging for your reaction and what do you think? What, are you, what do you feel about that? And how, did that, how, how does that experience affect you? ENFPs are always expecting a back and forth with the world. They are not just purely sharing their own story in a non-participative or monologue style manner as I as an INFJ might. They instead, they are interacting with you. They are expecting a reaction of back and forth. ENFP back and forthing is a real thing. ENFPs are constantly expecting a kind of answer, uh, kind of uh, input on what they are saying. They like to hear what other people think and how other people perceive them and what they say. ENFPs can also have a kind of a reporter-like style to their communication. That means when ENFPs are talking and interacting with you, ENFPs are often asking questions and they're often going, so what do you feel about that? And how, what's your takeaway? And when ENFPs are listening to you, they're likely to inter interrupt you. ENFPs, they interrupt people to get the full story. So how do you mean with that? And why did you use that word? But that's not necessarily the full story, is it? ENFPs are like investigative journal journalists. They're trying to figure out the scoop. What are you hiding? What are you not saying? <laughs> what is missing? ENFPs always believe that there is something missing. There's something that you didn't say, something you hid away, something that wasn't there, or that you didn't put out there clearly. And ENFPs, they like figuring it out. So ENFPs want to get the full story. They want to feel like they're getting the full truth from you. The truth, but nothing but the truth. Honesty is very important to an ENFP. 
when ENFPs talk, they also have this authentic uh, kind of uh, sharp tone to them that demonstrates emotion and authentic and real emotion. When ENFPs talk, you can hear their voice crack. You can hear that uh, their words are sometimes breaking because they are filled with feeling or deeper meaning. And that's how you're going to feel how ENFPs, they choose to enunciate certain words or some, certain things and how they put emotion into something, certain expressions. Unlike, say, the ENFJ, ENFPs, they don't have this warm communication style. So ENFPs, they don't necessarily come off as warm when they are talking to you. They're not, uh, because some people, they talk like their words are porridge, like it's soft and clean and it's all well put together and like a comfort blanket. <laughs> uh, perhaps you'll find that I have that kind of a voice. Uh, but ENFPs, they have instead a bit more of a raw and real voice. When ENFPs talk, it's sharp and it breaks and it has this, uh, yeah, real quality to it. Like emotion is in there, definitely, but it's more natural. It comes off more naturally. It's not constantly trying to harmonize with everyone and everything. It is trying to express yourself in a real and raw manner. So that's how I, I experience ENFP body language. And now I want to do a quick poll with all of you. You click on the link down below and share in one word how you perceive ENFPs and check how other people perceive ENFPs. Thank you all for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future.